my name's Simon Bantz. Uh, I'm an estate agent in Chobham. Um, I run in Villages Estate Agents, which uh, I've had the business here for 25 years. Um, I have watched the village change over the 25 years dramatically, specifically with the volumes of traffic. I strongly oppose um, any development at Fair Oaks. I think it would be a real shame to lose the airport. Um, I've spent a lot of time up there at the cafe and watching the aircraft. Um, I have a lot of friends that live around there as well. Um, the traffic levels over the 25 years have dramatically increased. The Fair Oaks development is proposing um, measures in Chobham to um, uh, address the traffic issues which I believe will only make it worse. So adding 3,000 cars um, when we've already got Long Cross locally being built as well um, from Fair Oaks, some of the traffic will go to back towards the M25 but that will be a nightmare as well. The traffic coming through Chobham can only get worse and it takes me sometimes 15 minutes at the moment to get out of my, 10 to 15 minutes to get out of my driveway into the high street and then I go out on an appointment and it takes me 10 to 15 minutes to sit in a traffic jam to get back into the high street. So um, I cannot believe that adding a, a thousand homes and 3,000 cars won't make that considerably worse. Developers automatically assume that, that um, uh, they can build as many houses as possible that, um, and, and that people will flock in and buy them. The demand in Chobham and what is required in Chobham, and the only reason anyone should be building in Chobham in my view, as a conservation village with um, character surrounded by Greenbelt common land, um, the only houses that should be considered in, in, in Chobham is what the demand is for. And historically, over the 25 years I've been here, it's never been any different. The demand is for old character, individual location, decent gardens. Very rarely do I ever get asked for anything on an estate. Normally they specify they don't want to be on an estate. So it should be um, for the downsizers and for the Professional couples coming out from London wanting to start life out in the Surrey area, they want to move out here. But um, specifically, very high demand for bungalows, which we're very short of. Um, and um, as I said, it's by, by creating another thousand houses there, in my view, will affect the average house price in Chobham. Yes, we have a good average house price of around 550 to 600,000. Um, we don't have a huge amount of smaller properties, but they never sell that well even when they um, are available because the pricing for this area is too high. Garden Village, it's a, it's a housing estate. Don't, don't care how they dress it up. Might seem very strange for this to come from an estate agent saying that they don't want houses, but I don't believe the demand is there and I think it will severely um, affect um, the, the the whole character of Chobham Village and what, what Chobham stands for. It's a small community, they want to double the size of it.